Hey, how you doing? I'm Jeff from Sports Brand Media Effects, and this is a Resolve DaVinci Resolve 15 chroma key tutorial. I just want to um, show you the um, original rough footage. This was um, shot in 4K. You can see the metadata there. It was shot in 4K, Ultra HD, and 50p. So that gives us the option to uh, drop this on a 1920 by 1080 timeline. And uh, because it's 50p, we can use a 24 or 25p timeline and uh, use uh, some slow motion if we need to. So as you can see here, this is the timeline we're using. It's full HD and 24 frames per second. So as I said, we can now use, we can zoom in as we do there and we can, we can actually use 200% if we need to without using any degradation of quality. Now you can see it's quite dark and uh, color grading, nothing's been done, this is just raw file. So we can uh, just tidy this up a little bit. You see we want to put this into proxy mode because the computer could possibly lock up with this 4K footage. So we just use a proxy mode of uh, around about quarter resolution. So the, it, you know, from our perspective at the moment, it's not looking so good, but um, the final result will be very good. And you can see now we're just making some adjustments. Really what I should have done, I'm just giving you a brief oversight, but uh, what I should have done is, is created a new node for these adjustments. And now you can see we take the saturation up as well. We can uh, crank everything up just a little bit, make the image nicer and brighter. And uh, there we go. So we create a new node and now we can take the saturation up. And you see that green back, back screen there, that's just literally jumping right out now, that green. So that's going to make it nice and easy to key. Uh, you'll see in a second with the other footage that's already been done, um, very similar to this. So let's get rid of that. And uh, let's bring over Novak. We're going to drag him down onto a timeline, but uh, we don't want to use video one. We want to use video two, three or four. Video one, we want to put our background on. So whether it's a photograph, video, or whether it's just a color. In this case, it's just going to be a solid color. I'm just going to drag a solid color over from the generator and create this color. Um, the color is easy to create. We can even pick a color from the screen if we need to, but just something like this blue that matches uh, pretty much well with the Australian Open. And now we can go into our Fusion tab. So click on our Fusion tab and now we can use, uh, actually let's click on the image. Don't have the, uh, the solid color selected, have the image selected. And then we use Control and Spacebar to bring up this dialog box where we can now select our filters. For this, we're going to be using Delta Key, Delta Key, and we want to grab the eyedropper from on the top there and drag the eyedropper over. Then from here, we can uh, go to our threshold, look for the threshold, and you want to make sure that the blacks are black and the whites are white with no shading. So uh, the threshold and bottom end will control the blacks, so we can clean the black up and the threshold top end, the highs are the whites. We pull that down and that will give us a threshold on the whites. Uh, if you overdo it, you, you'll actually have um, some serious problems as well. So you don't want to overdo it. Just take it to where it's going. And you can see what I'm actually doing is using um, a color that I can select a color from here and I can add that color to the background so when I go into final result now, you'll see, there you go, you've got a color and you can change that color if you like and use pretty much any color you like to use. Um, but we won't be doing that because we've actually, I'd like to keep it as an alpha channel and use our own background solid color that we've already made in the edit, which you'll see here now. Um, because if we need to make a change to the background, we only have to make it the once on that timeline and not all the way throughout the program itself. Uh, just check in that uh, the resolution is good. Take the resolution up to double check. Check everything's looking okay. And when you're happy, we can 
move on yeah and well done in 2019 there Novak Djokovic winning the uh, Australian Open beating this young fella here who is uh, Rafael Nadal he's a very nice person they're all very nice guys as you can see this image again is oversaturated so that our green is going to be nice and easy to key so we go into our fusion tab click on fusion find the delta key so that's con control and spacebar to bring that dialog box up grab the uh, color dropper there and drag it over now we're going to our matte and a tab for the threshold take the black up take the white down when you're happy with that we've also got um, the option here in the tabs to um, pick on a spill um, I'm just using the medium so these are presets for spill you actually get a bit of spill back from the green screen if you've got a lot of green or blue then you'll, you'll actually get spill back onto clothing glasses etc etc so it's nice that you can actually suppress that spill um, with presets that they've actually given you uh, we used to be able to do that manually individually before but um, you still can but it's just so much easier having these presets you can you know select mild or medium or hard and so now we've got Roger again oversaturated green screen background so control and spacebar to bring up the dialogue delta key back over to the color dropper drag it over it has to be dragged over to work there you go and select it I, I like to select as close to the talent as possible um, because you can have problems with hair and different shades of uh, green etc so we that's it we clean up the black and then we need to clean up quite a bit of white here there's quite a bit of spill back on to Roger's clothing there so we've brought that down and brought that back in then we can go on to our spill tab and again I'm just going to select the medium check it out final result that's our alpha channel back into the edit and you can see we're looking pretty good pretty good to go so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial what I'm going to do next is as you can see the images are still not color graded um, I'm just going to show I'm just going to take the uh, saturation back down on these images and uh, tidy them up a little bit but uh, in general I'd be spending a lot more time um, on a more serious job like this to get these absolutely perfect but for this tutorial I'm just going to create a new node and I'll take the saturation down um, just to make it more realistic skin tones is a little bit too sunburnt so we'll take them down I like to do things more more by visual looking rather than checking with the parades and with histograms etc I like to look at things because it's okay everybody's saying yeah well you need to get your parades balanced you know the, uh, the clipping the black and clipping the white and you know the highlights uh, the mid-tones sort of sent away etc but not necessarily all the time depending on what's being shot if it was a moody kind of drama then you'd, uh, you'd expect it to be a little bit darker on the mid-tones and maybe a bit more shady and shadowy oh, I've overdone it here with Rafa a little bit uh, but for this tutorial that's fine so we just take his uh, saturation down but he was a little bit over the top now we need to desaturate Rog Roger and you'll be able to see one or two of these files hopefully in the link I'll uh, send you a link here so you can play with these uh, tennis players and get them to key up but as I say this was only shot on a GH5 this is um, this not even b-roll footage but uh, the original footage is actually filmed on a red and this is just a GH5 just a side camera uh, just for a different angle just to check things out and make sure everything's running smoothly it's more as a monitor than anything 
but uh, yeah, it's still a pretty good little camera. GH5, love the GH5. It's uh, perfect for traveling overseas and getting a few holiday shots, etc. So I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, give us a thumbs up if you did. Thanks very much.